Espera que llegue a Mauricio. Ven acá abajo. Vamos a ver que lo golpee. Out of here. No. These guys need to get out of here. Come on. 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 They are here to take over our towns. They are here to eat your pets. I would love to know where this happened at so I can go confront this man. You're the reason, old man, why the world it is the way it is. A man goes as far as using a racial slur that's deeply offensive to the black community. Even more shocking, the worker as a supervisor just stands by and does not protect his employee what's up everybody welcome back to the channel on today's episode we are sharing a disturbing incident caught on camera that shines a light on what people have to go through at their work the hatred and violence they face when they are working this mexican man was just busy minding his own business as he was working when this man came from nowhere and decided to attack him and more worse is that he went on ahead and insulted this man. Mind you, this man had done nothing rather than doing his work. Let's watch this video. We'll come back to it. Let's also know what we hear what people had to say about this. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down on the comment section. Be respectful and I give this video a like. Oh, I'm too ah. Ah, ah, ah. I told what those fuckers. He said he's going to drive the machine. Huh? He want to drive the machine. He's going to get the machine and take it over there. Yeah, he want to drive it. He's going to get it and take it over there. Get it. I want you guys out of here. No, these guys need to get out of here until the boss gets here. Period. I'm going to start swinging. I'm going to start fucking swinging. Okay. Get out of here. Out of there. I'm telling you, man. I'm not fucking around. Yeah, my policia, huh? They need to just work somewhere. Hey, llame la policía porque está demasiado ya, man. My name is gone. I'm going to go to the man. Off limits. Off limits. They can be where the hell they want to down that street. But they're not on this guard. They're not on that guard. Shut the fuck up, you goddamn Mexican. Espera que llegue a Mauricio. Ven acá abajo, mira. Yeah, you want a piece of shovel? Call the police if you want to, f***holes. That's too bad. That's too bad. They fucked up. No, they can finish it somewhere else. Down in, not, not in this yard. Oh, he does understand English. No problem. Fucking liar. Fucking Mexican piece of shit. I'm sure they did. And that motherfucker sit there and tries to tell me to city property to get him to cut his head off. Wow. All this he fucked up. Well, his hey, fucking fault. Yeah, it is his fucking fault. Uh, He's looking at him uh, right. talking on the goddamn phone. Tomás bien, 800. Yeah, call the police. Right. La seis mil doscientos. La seis doce. Thank you. 
Honey, honey, I'm going to call the police right now. I'm going to call Officer Pearson. And I'm going to call the police right now. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of if you haven't watched this video, go take a look. This is the result of what happens when you spend every single day of your campaign telling your constituents, your supporters, uh, your cult members that these people are out here to unalive you and your family. They are here to take over our towns. They are here to eat your pets. This is what happens. We have an angry Kyle with a shovel who sees a, uh, you know, three or four, um, Latino skinned men out working and gets angry, wants them gone. The problem is, is uh, those people are working on utilities in the ground. You can't just move that work. He uses some interesting vocabulary as well. I'm sure you've noticed it. Um, again, this is what happens when you demonize an entire group of people simply by the color of their skin at this point. And the way they talk. This is Donald Trump's America. This isn't the Founding Fathers' America. I'm going to tell you what you do. There ain't no talk. There ain't no calling the cops. You walk up to him friendly and say, hey, man, what's going on? You grab that shovel and start knocking these motherfuckers out. I'm going to start swinging. I'm going to start fucking swinging. I'm going to say this shit in English so motherfuckers understand what the fuck I'm saying. Motherfuck him specifically. If you're young enough to come outside swinging a shovel like that and threatening my people, my boy, you're lucky those Latinos that you were dealing with are fuck nice, hardworking Latinos that don't want no problems. Because, bitch, let me tell you something. I'm with all that smoke. You come out there doing that shit to my people, all penitentiary rules are going into effect immediately, and I'm going to beat your bitch ass up. And I'm super happy that mother spreading the shit out of this on TikTok because my boy you gonna end up fuck up fuck around with people who are working like that I don't give a fuck motherfucker legal or not my boy you ain't got no right to sit up there and bring your little bitch ass out there like that and threaten a mother with the shovel because bitch I oh bitch when I say all penitentiary rules are in effect, bitch, I will make you swing that shovel, duck that bitch, and knock your bitch ass out cold and f*** you up. And guess what the police are going to say? Man, nah, it was self-defense. Take his little old dumb ass in since he wants to play a game of fuck and find out. That's the most dumbest shit I ever heard of. You want to go outside and f*** the mother f***ing hardworking and trying to provide for his family? I don't give a fuck legal or not and any of you bitches that want to hop up on here talking shit about the illegals let me tell you something as a bilingual mixed latin american i can tell you this i've worked with white crews and i've worked with latin crews and not one th crew that i've worked with in any trade whether it be landscaping framing or electrical not one of them white boy crews work as hard as those latinos i promise you that my boy go to a Upside, put the vest on and fuck how hard them boys bust their ass to provide for their families. Shut your bitch asses up with that little racist shit, my boy. Repost this right now. Repost it, then go watch it. Repost that. Look here. This why your shit costs so much. This why everything costs so much. When they deport and run off. And fire and lock up the people that want to do the job that are getting paid to do the job. They're getting paid for cheap. Now they ain't getting paid what they worth. Putting their life in danger, working on the city and stuff. Y'all do understand we are the city. So when the taxpayers got to pay the city, we the city, we pay for that. So when the taxes go up because you deported Guadalupe and Giovanni and all his family and them, when you deported them folks, that means somebody named Mark, somebody named Chad, somebody named Connor had to get out there and get paid $33 an hour to go do the job these folks were doing for 10 Okay? 
Mark, Chad, and Connor, and all of them, and sometimes Quentin, all them folks, they getting paid what they worth. But Giovanni and them ain't. Guadalupe and Hernandez and all them, they ain't getting paid what they worth. But they out there doing a the job. But yet, people like Mark, Chad, and Connor, they get to swing axes at people and shovels at people and say, get off my land. Don't work for the little bit of money we paying you for to do the job I need you to do so I can cut my faucet on properly. You get to swing axes and shovels at them and call them out their name, tell them to get off your land. But then you get mad when the city's got to pay somebody else more money to do the job because you like the way that person look. You like the skin color of that person. And then y'all want to say people like me that look like me, we the reason why your tax dollars go up. Kamala is the reason why your tax dollars go up? No. No. It's that. It's him. He the reason why. He the reason why meat costs $17 per pound now. They the reason why. He owns a company. He got stock in a company that's not paying their workers no money, so they went on strike. And so now you got to pay somebody else. That look like he gonna have to pay somebody that look like him. But they say, no, it's the migrants' fault. It's all their fault. You a lie. You a lie. And yeah, that's how I know you're the devil. Because the devil is a lie. You want to know why I don't have a whole lot of sympathy for certain people? Because of shit like that. Shit like that. Now here is this white supervisor. Trying to fix this, this, this road. Obviously, the road needs to be fixed. One of the things that has to happen is they have to bring in a machine to get to fixing the water and what have you, right? There are two Mexican men who are actually working to try to get this thing fixed. And here comes this motherfucker talking about he don't want him in this yard and that yard. Go back and watch the rest of the video. He's about swinging a shovel at these two men trying to do their fucking job. And the white supervisor is over there just going, trying to ration with him. This is, there comes a point where you, you on your own becomes the norm. If I'm not safe doing my motherfucking bitch, you ain't washing your ass. You ain't boiling water for coffee. You ain't doing shit, bitch. You fix it. You fix it. Why, rather than swinging that shovel at these two hard-working Mexicans, maybe he's going to need that shovel to dig his own to fix the shit. But you know what? Fuck. Why are we required to find our better angels when motherfuckers act like that? Why? I get it. These men have a job to do. This is how they get paid. The supervisor's right there. That's how he gets paid. And that's fine. But this mother literally was threatening to hit them with a shovel. A shovel, ladies and gentlemen. And I clipped that part just so y'all could see it. See how close he was swinging this shovel at this man trying to do his goddamn job. And the only thing I thought after watching the whole video is, hey, mother get your water fixed over here, partner. You won't. You better bootstrap your bitch ass out there and fix your own goddamn water main. It's not my problem. You. I'm going home to wash my ass. You can stay here with your rugged individualism and your xenophobia and be the smelliest motherfucker not being able to drink anything except bottled fucking water. Fuck. This is this the shit that pisses me off. This is the shit that pisses me off. A bunch of sundown towns, sundown towns, were hit in this latest hurricane all throughout North, uh, 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 North Carolina. Sundown towns, ladies and gentlemen. The type of towns that don't want people to look like me in them after the sun go down. And they were proud of it till that hurricane hit. And I wonder how many people in those sundown towns are going to all of a sudden say, hey, black men, you can't be here after sundown. Now that your power is out. Now that you walk around here with no water, 
No electricity. Oh, but Thomas, you got to think about the older people. Who, some of them have the same fuck news. Why is why am why is anybody required to find our better angels in some shit like that? Now, if one of the Mexican men had turned around and cracked his ass in his fuck dog meat, he'd have deserved it. He's swinging a shovel at them. A shovel. You got to be fucking. And they're supposed to be the good guys. They have to lift this equipment and move it because old xenophobe over here don't want them on their fucking property, which they need to be on to fix it. Again, go back and watch the video. Go back and watch the video. But somehow, the Mexican guys have to be Martin Luther the motherfucking king. We're just doing our job. And then when they're talking to each other because they're speaking Spanish, they're talking to each other. He says, shut the fuck up, you dirty man. Go look. Go look. Now, if this man's on television in a week talking about we ain't got no water and it's really hard because we have to go to, we got to go to Walmart to buy a bottle of water. Bitch, I don't feel bad for you, mother ass. I don't feel bad for you. I don't. And I'm sorry. This idea that I have to be the bigger man or we have to be the bigger man in the face of some shit like that, that's bullshit. Those two men were trying to do their job. That's what they were trying to do. They wasn't stealing shit. They were not fucking partying. They were doing their motherfucking job. And what was their thank you for doing their fucking job? Some goofy ass, uh, 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 well guys, this is not just about one person's words, it's about a complete failure in leadership and this is actually why people should be standing up against racism, hate, violence in every sector, may it be work, may it just you working out uh, because even the woman who came as you've seen on this video, she did nothing and the supervisor had even the audacity to continue standing there and listening to what this man has to say, ordering them around as if it's this man that's paying him in as much as he's paying taxes in as much as these people are working in his neighborhood, there's no point that he's gonna go ahead and do the work that this man was doing. You know, the fact that he even had that audacity to sway the shovel on him, it was this close to hitting that guy. Who knows what would have happened, you know? It was this close to hitting his head. And, you know, it's sad that this is what people have to go through just because someone doesn't like you because of your race. They don't like you to be in their neighborhood. They don't want you to be working around their areas. And it's not like they're going to go ahead and do this. And you know, like, it's really, like also this lady was saying, this is what happens when, you know, when you have uh, immigrants coming to do this job because allegedly they are saying they get paid less than what other people that are from America get paid. So they just take any kind of job. And actually, I would understand when you are in a foreign country and you don't know what you're going to do and you're suffering and you need this money to, you know, to survive. You're just going to take any job, even if it pays you not as much as other people are getting paid because at the end of the day you need to pay your bills at the end of the day you need to pay your rent at the end of the day you need to eat that's why people some people go even to an extent of getting jobs that don't pay them enough just because they need to survive and currently like since covid things has been things have been very hard on everyone you know things have been harsh uh you know the prices are going up on everything food rent electricity gas like everything is rising and when you are in such a situation people get even to endure these treatments from this kind of people that uh feel like they'll just be sitting in their house and they'll be like no that man should not be working here no he should not be even in my neighborhood why is he here so this is why people like go through a lot when they're working and it's only right if you can stand up for someone and call that person that's being violent or being racist to another person because it's not right at all and now when i watch this video it actually takes me back as the man was saying you know there's someone who was saying like sundowns don't exist anymore but 
what would you call this when you don't want a certain person to be actually working in your neighborhood just because you feel you don't like them you don't like where they come from you don't like their color or you don't like their race or you don't like their group it's quite sad and people have to like stand up against these like people have to fight these you have to face these people when they're doing that don't just stand there as the supervisor say because it's like me just standing here and seeing someone being unalived and i just kept quiet i'm just as guilty as that person because you just watch someone do do something that you know it's not right that you deep down in your heart you know this is not supposed to be happening but you stood there and kept quiet you are as guilty as that person you know even this supervisor is just as bad as this man that was attacking his worker because i believe as a supervisor, as a boss, as a manager, you should be in a position to stand up for your clients, uh, to stand up for your employees, because at the end of the day, they are working for you. At the end of the day, they bring so much value into your company. They bring so much value into your services, because without these employees, there's no way you're going to do this. Let me know what you all think on the comment section. And until the next episode, bye.